is my friend Saisha. Uh, she's gonna go help me find some plants for my room because I feel like my room is lacking some character. It's just very white and boring. We're gonna jazz it up! Yeah, so I don't really have a clue about plants, so she's gonna come help me select some that will probably, hopefully, what is it, thrive in my yes. lighting? Yes, and not die. Not yes. die, that's what we're aiming for. Yeah, yeah. so hopefully I can find something. <laughs> take care of plants, trying to convert me to become a plant mama as yeah. well. We'll see how well I do. <laughs> You'll be fine. I hope so. I'll send you pictures all the time like, yeah. is it dying? Sounds good. I'm just at my friend Adut's house. Um, Adut is helping me kind of brainstorm ideas for my channel um, and just like what I want to make videos about, why I'm making videos. I just want to, you know, actively um, spend time brainstorming about how I can make my vlogs better. And um, we, we were also saying like at work, we always brainstorm ideas and challenges and work together in groups to think of like how we can make things better. So why don't we do that for our personal passion projects as well? So that is the whole point of today's hangout session. Yeah, I think, I think there's like a lot of things that I would like to challenge in terms of like or like you know like beauty standards that are linked to our culture where mm -hmm. you believe like it has to be this way but you kind of want to set people free. Yeah. Not set them free but like just encourage more open-mindedness, less yeah. ju judgment. Um, yeah. Like in the, in the next vlog that I'm doing there is a little segment where my friend and I talk about how there's no space for failure within Indian communities. Mm -hmm. How like failure is not talked about and how like our parents just like only talk about our successes so then they're always comparing the kids and stuff. Yeah. So we never tell anyone about something that we haven't done well. Yeah. Whereas I would like to make it like even my vlogs I'd like to address making failure just normal. Like normalizing it yeah. and like having more than one chance because I think yeah I think that's where a lot of like mental health problems come from like within our cultures to be honest mm -hmm. because you just put so much pressure on yourself to get it right the first time yeah would you ever do like a day in the life of like in terms of like yeah. work that actually so I put up like an Instagram ask thing like mm -hmm. what would you guys want to see in a vlog and the most requested one I thought it would be like hair tutorial but it was actually a day in the life of hair tutorial is a good one though My hangout session with Adu really got me thinking about why I make vlogs, what really is the point. And it really isn't because I think I have such an interesting life which is worth documenting, it's not because I think I'm worth following. It's really just because I enjoy sharing experiences and thoughts and learnings in a sort of positive and uplifting, joyful type of way. I hope that you would come to my vlogs and feel lighthearted and feel joyful, feel, I don't know, motivated in some way. Um, I think I just want to promote finding joy in the little things, not taking people for granted and not being judgmental, being very open and welcoming towards everybody. Um, I guess I just want to create a space that, that makes you feel welcome um, and hopefully will inspire you to make others feel welcome in your life as well. Some of you guys leave comments saying my vlogs are very wholesome or you feel like you can just relax with a cup of tea and watch my vlogs and it'll leave you feeling good and that's exactly what I hope to achieve through these vlogs. I just hope that it'll brighten up your day in one way or another, just make you feel a, li a little bit more uplifted. Um, Adut also shared some good pointers about how to <clears throat> help out content creators who you think are good. Um, number one, for example, on Instagram would be to save people's posts. I didn't know that saving means more than commenting. If a post has many saves, then Instagram will think of it as a valuable post, which is worth 
um, sharing on like the explore page and that kind of thing so Instagram's algorithm will automatically start sharing that post of yours more if it's got more saves um, so this is something I didn't know so yeah if you've got people out there whose content you like you can save posts to help them out and then comment and then apparently share something like that and I think a like is like the least valuable which like, I had no idea about this um, obviously on YouTube if you want to help my vlogs you can please comment on them because engagement really really matters and it's again like the YouTube algorithm when it sees that lots of people are engaging with a video so whether that's liking it or commenting on it um, or sharing it, um, it, it it just makes YouTube think that ah, this video is relevant let me promote it a little bit more so that's how you can help out content creators if you want to help me um, and also just like from a personal kind of thing I genuinely truly get overjoyed reading the comments on the vlogs there may not be that much but it just feels like a conversation and that's what I hope to get out of it I don't want this to just be a platform where I just share and that's it I would love for it to become more both ways um, I always try to reply to everything as well so I, I would I don't know I would love to create some sort of genuine connection with the people who watch the vlogs. I know that sometimes I talk about a lot of vulnerable topics which people don't necessarily want to mess it, like publicly comment about, but just to let you know that if you do want to help out a creator, you can also just leave them a little comment. That would really help out content creators like me to just promote our videos a little bit more. <laughs> It's a Friday also. It's a Friday. Okay. <laughs> we rented out a studio because we miss dancing so much. Do you know my party trick? Oh yes. Oh, do you know? Yeah, you know as well. the most since this like COVID season is dancing. I used to try to go to more dance classes um, and it was just such a fun time and a good way for me to release energy because I don't really work out or do any other form of like sports so it's been tough not being able to dance for so long but instead of moping around my friends and I thought why don't we go rent out a studio and share the costs among all of us and then just have our own dance class so like maybe teach each other some choreographies or choose a choreography from YouTube and then teach ourselves. So that's what we're gonna do today and I'm very excited. Nirla is teaching us a choreography. Woo! You better click the bell button. Here. Nirla's trying to get some screen time. <laughs> <laughs> Right about it, you want 
our music videos, where they like come. Says they both have one on the and then swap. And then swap. London lockdown 2.0 <laughs> don't know why I sound so cheerful about it this vlog I was hoping to do lots of active stuff and show you life picking up again but here we are wrapping up again for the winter just trying to make the most out of the few sunny days left I'm um, taking myself out, out on a walk right now might try to find a cafe or something for takeaway coffee because you can't sit inside anymore but yeah, trying to cheer myself up with some pastries and coffee if I can find it. I feel better this lockdown. I think the first time it happened I was a lot more panicky. Not panicky, but just a bit more worried. Uh, and I thought that if I leave the house I might get coronavirus. Whereas now I feel a lot more at peace and I feel like we've been through it once, we can do it again. So 